Good morning, good morning, you guys. So I'm all warmed up. Got on the elliptical for 20 minutes. Did my mobility stuff. It is packed in here. And I'm training with my trainer today via Zoom. So it's gonna be another voiceover video while we're in the gym. But yeah, it's a little packed in here. So trying to maneuver like two tripods. I don't know, it's a little awkward, but we're gonna get through it. I'm ready and nothing is sore. So I feel great. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we started with some seated chest flies. You guys, I have never done them like this. If you guys have been watching the gym vlogs for a minute, you know you have not seen me do these. But these are my new chest fly go-to because they were so hard. So I had the weight on 45. It goes up to 200. So won't even half weigh with the stack. And <laughs> these were really hard. My trainer was telling me here to really focus on keeping your chest up, even if that means arching your back like you guys see me doing. And just try to like look up because you really want it to be all chest, no shoulders. Look at my face, y'all. <laughs> like, yes, it was like that. Um, just try to do all, sh all chest here. It was crazy, you guys. And just keep the, the reps slow and controlled and to really give it a good squeeze like that and then bring them back. Yeah. Then we did some seated bicep curls <laughs> and I had 25 pound dumbbells here and everything that you guys see is three sets. So dumbbell curls with my back up against the back of the seat and just bringing the dumbbells up at the same time he was telling me that it's okay to swing my arms safely here because your back is being supported but like when you're swinging standing it's actually not good because you're using momentum from your upper body to get the curl whereas you can swing your arms seated like so well i, I don't really think i did too much swinging but he was telling me it's okay to swing here because you're still only using your biceps to curl but yeah these were really hard and especially because we did bicep curls yesterday too so <laughs> it was a lot going on but um these were good these were good Okay, so we did jumping lunges. I have 10 pound dumbbells here. We did 16, so eight on each leg. It's so crazy because when he first started training me, I couldn't do a lunge. And then as we progressed in training, so I would say like five months into training, he started introducing jumping lunges, but I couldn't do them for real. And you guys know I stopped using him and just started doing my own thing. And so this was the first time he's seen me do jump lunges. And he was like really impressed. He was like, wow, I remember you couldn't do them at all. And I was like, yeah, I've come a long way. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Then um, after the jumping lunges, I went immediately into the wall sits. I think the wall sits, we did 35 seconds. So here we are working on pull-ups, <laughs> good old pull-ups. So using the Smith machine here, and I have my legs at 90 degrees like y'all can see. And I can push through with my feet. He said that's fine. It's really just trying to get up, get my chest as close to the bar as possible. And when setting the Smith machine bar height to do waist height, so that's how I got it to the height that I have it at. And he was telling me once I'm able to do 20, like solid, like keeping the pace, then we'll move to the assisted pull-up machine that I y'all have seen me use before and I have my grip wide and I think that's it I think the hardest thing for me was holding on to the bar for as long as I did but he was still impressed because I wasn't really able to do this before and then last but not least we did this ski thingy y'all have never seen me do this because I've never done it <laughs> So don't mind me. I'm just trying to uh, figure it out. He has one in his home gym and he was showing me like the motion. Y'all, it was awkward because I just couldn't figure it out. So I'm like looking at him and trying to do it. Y'all, it, <laughs> it, uh, it was a good experience, I guess. It's definitely something he said we're going to keep doing. So 
I'll definitely get used to it. Now he was saying with these, it's as intense as you make it. So once we finished, I honestly felt like the jumping lunges were a lot easier or were a lot harder, but he was telling me that's because I wasn't going as hard as I could on the skis, but I was still trying to get the movement right. So kind of got it, but he was saying the harder you work, the harder it'll be. All right, you guys, that was a great workout. I sat in the car and ate my yogurt. Let me show you guys. So I had to stop at Kroger because I was actually out. So I stopped at Kroger this morning to get my yogurt so I'd have it. So this is the yogurt that I eat. I normally, I do three-fourths cup vanilla flavored. And then these are the nutritional facts. 150 calories for three-fourths cup, seven grams of protein, three and a half grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs. And yeah, so I'll do three fourths cup of that with some blueberries, some unsweetened coconut flakes, some dark chocolate chips, and some blueberries and my own homemade granola. So good. But anyways, okay, great workout. Let's pull up the stats here. We, we got a little, we was talking a little bit more than normal. Um, I got on the elliptical, like I said, burned 267 calories. And then worked out for an hour and 20 minutes. That included my mobility training and burned 558 calories. Went on my morning mile walk with my dog. And so right now I'm at 1175 calories burnt. Woo, woo. Okay, let me tell you, like, let me, let me tell y'all something. This is why I wanted a personal trainer. I know I've been talking a lot about personal training because I'm just so glad. So I told you guys before I even decided to invest in a personal trainer again because for the Aussie, for those of y'all who don't know he's he was training with me when I started my weight loss journey okay he is crazy because I literally typed in personal trainers in my area his was the first number that came up called him he answered on the second ring and literally the next day he sat down with me for a consultation and then it was just on and popping from there. It's like, look at God. And I didn't even know he was vegan <laughs> when I hired him. And he was vegan. And I had already told myself years ago, one day I'm going to be vegan. And here I am manifesting that. And I'm two and a half years into being vegan. So this is just crazy. But when we were doing the jumping lunges with the 10 pound dumbbells, because you guys know, I, I had, I was dealing with him for like a year. Then I decided, you know, I lost a lot of weight. I knew what I was doing in the weight room. So then what I decided to do was get a gym membership and just pay for the workouts. And I was doing that for a few months. And then, you know, I was like, you know what? I see everybody else doing this cool stuff. I see on Instagram, bro splits and stuff like that. So then I stopped paying for the workouts and have been pretty much doing my own thing for a good year. And then I decided, I think it's time to get back into personal training because I don't know if I'm making the progress that I should be making. And, and again, I'm comparing... What should I tell y'all not to do? See, we're all guilty of the things. I'm comparing my results to what I see on social, right? So when I'm seeing people like knocking out push-ups or doing pull-ups or just doing like crazy bizarre shit, I'm like, dang, like, I feel like I should be able to do that by now. And then when I try to do it and I can't, I'm like, man, am I not going hard enough? You know what I mean? You start questioning yourself. So <laughs> then I have to remember, like, these people have been working out longer than me. They may have never been overweight. A lot of people have been lifting for like years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And years. <laughs> okay. So when I come across their account, this is like 10 years of putting in work, right? Where I'm only like two and a half years in. So big difference. But anyways, I told you guys, I was like, I think I need to get a personal trainer again. Cause I don't know if I'm making the progress that I should be making. That was the biggest thing. And to be around, you know, someone who's healthy, had that influence in my life kind of like holding me account not kind of but is holding me accountable you know because he's always asking what the fuck am I eating so it's like I gotta tell you right and I'm trying to lose this last bit of weight so you know but anyways <laughs> when I had when I did the consultation with him two weeks ago so he could figure out like you know what I was looking for what kind of schedule all that stuff he was asking me like can I do push-ups can I do this can I do that and so I was telling him where I'm at because I haven't trained with him in like a year and so he asked if I could do bench push-ups during the consult. And I was like, I can only do like a couple, like one. I was like, it depends on the day. I don't really feel, I don't really feel like I can do them. Because y'all would see me doing them on the lat pull-down padding where you put your knees because it's just a little higher of an incline. And so when we did them, he was like, I thought you said you didn't have bench push-ups. 
I was like, I didn't really feel like I had bench push-up either, but I was able to get a few. So that was that. Then today, <laughs> y'all seen we did the pull-ups, the horizontal pull-ups on the Smith machine. And because I'm trying to build up to get a real pull-up with no assistance. <laughs> so, and this is what he had me doing before, but I couldn't do it. Like I could only do like one it was like really the grip like just being able to hold the bar and pull up I you know I was 340 pounds like I couldn't do none of this stuff so but that's what he remembers so so when we were getting ready to do it he's like all right so I'm not gonna set a number I just want you to do as many as you can so I can just get a, a baseline of where you are and how far we need to get you to so that we can go to the assisted pull-up machine because he said I should be able to do 20 like that, like knocking them out like how I was doing, but be able to do 20 without stopping. Then that's a good measure. Like, okay, now it's time to get to the assisted pull-up machine. So as I was doing them in my ear, because y'all can't hear, but in my ear, he was like, I thought you said you couldn't do these. I was like, I can't. He's like, you're doing pretty good, Jasmine. But see, that's what I'm saying. I have no, I have no baseline like I don't know what's considered good excuse me I am not a personal trainer you get what I'm saying so I don't be knowing if I'm making good progress or not that's my thing like I don't know like I've never trained someone I have nothing to go off of other than what I see on social what I see on social are some really in shape motherfuckers right all cut up jacked up that's all so that's what I'm going off of and it's, so he was like, yeah, you'll, you'll, we'll be at the assisted pull-up bar in no time. I feel like we'll be there in no time. Then when we were doing the jumping lunges before we started, he was like, all right, so I'm going to have you hold the 10 pound dumbbells, which y'all seen. And he was like, this is going to be really hard, but I just want you to, you know, I'm going to set the timer. I want you to just, you know, do as many as you can. Just really push yourself, you know, yeah, he was giving me the pep talk <laughs> Before we start, I was like, okay, 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 okay. Because y'all don't be see, I don't, I don't ever do them with a 10 pound. Y'all just see me do them body weight. So I'm like, okay, I'm thinking my head is probably going to be harder because it's 10 pounds, right? So <laughs> 10 pounds in each hand. So then when I did and I knocked out the first set, I didn't even stop. He was like, wow, I remember when you couldn't even do one. <laughs> I was like, I know. He was like, that was great. That that was good. You're doing good. I was like, oh, okay. Because I don't know. I don't know what's considered good. I don't know if I'm being stagnant. Like, I don't really know. So I say all this to say a couple of things. One, this is why you shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people. This is exactly why you should not be comparing yourself to other people. Because when you do that, it will really have you, and I can tell you from experience, because I am working really hard to not do that. And I know when I know like when I know that I'm doing it, how it makes me feel. It makes me feel like I'm not doing shit. So stop comparing yourself to other people and recognize your journey is your journey and you cannot compare your journey to someone else's. And, you know, the people that I'm looking at who I'm admiring and, you know, using for inspiration, those people, it's only a few like that I really like, I really enjoy their content. They've never even been overweight before. They were small and bulked up. So their journey is different than mine. I was overweight and getting smaller. And then on top of that, they have been lifting for 10 plus years. Like these creators are like 30 plus. So if they started at 18, you get what I'm saying? Like, what do you expect 10 plus years later? Of course, they're going to be all jacked up. Like, nigga, they've been working out for 10 plus years. You get what I'm saying? So it was just like, I got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. And I've been doing better at not doing that. But I'm just saying, like, when I'm trying to do push-ups and I can't do push-ups, it's, like, frustrating. But then he was reminding me, too, like, if I truly want to get push-ups, like, I claim that I do, I need to be doing them every day. And I was like, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> He's like, you should be knocking out push-ups every day. If you really want to get pull-ups, you need to be doing this every day I was like all right all right so I'm gonna start incorporating push-ups and pull-ups into my mobility training segment so I'll do the elliptical for 20 minutes well first what I do is I take my little thumbnail pictures on my edges still laid you know (laughs) I take my little thumbnail pictures in the group exercise room 
Then I've been getting on the elliptical. I've been really good and consistent at getting on that elliptical for 20 minutes. So kudos to Jazz. Even though I don't, he he's with it. Like he's not gonna tell me not to, but he's just like, I mean, you know, you you. He's like, just don't overanalyze cardio. Like that's not what's gonna get you your six pack. What's gonna get you your six pack is being in your caloric deficit, not being on the cardio machine. But okay, okay, you know, there's nothing wrong with being in more of a deficit. It's just like extra credit, little bonus points. You know what I'm saying? So I've been really good and consistent at doing 20 minutes on the elliptical. And I noticed that when I do the cardio before the lift, I'm more likely to do it. Because I was trying, sometimes I was trying to save it for after. And you guys, I don't know what it is about after lifting. Like sometimes I don't even necessarily be like dead tired. I just no longer feel like being at the gym. Like, you know what I mean? So then I just like talk myself out of it. Like, oh, we'll just do it tomorrow. But when I get on the cardio machine before the lift... I've noticed I'm just more likely to do it. So that's been working. And then once I get off the elliptical, I burn roughly about 270 calories for 20 minutes. And I keep the resistance. I think the resistance goes up to like 23 or 24. And I have it on 18. So it's pretty high resistance. And then I'm just, I'm doing it at a chill pace. Like I could carry on a conversation if I wanted to. I'm not like dead tired. Sweating, yes. Yes. But I'm not, like, that tired. Let me see what my average heart rate... I think the average heart rate for that is... If anything, I might be a little bored being on it. I'd be like, has it been 20 minutes yet? But not because I'm tired, just because I'm, like, I'm ready to lift, right? So average heart rate is 140 beats per minute. So it's real chill. Like, this is not... This is not conditioning heart rate. So it's real chill... I could carry on a conversation if someone was sitting next to me and not be, like, out of breath with it. So I do that, and I get off, wipe the machine down, go to the turf, and I do my mobility stuff, which is, like, uh, getting into, like, a deep lunge and then, like, hoisting myself forward and then bringing myself back and then doing it on the other side, then doing, like, some hip flexor stuff, then doing the rotator cuff stuff, And that's it. And I'll just do multiple sets of that. And then I turn the camera on. We're ready to get to work. Oh, I'll do like some squats, some body weight squats, stuff like that. So what I'll do while doing the mobility training in between my sets, I'll start doing bench push-ups with a slow decline down. And then I'll incorporate the pull-ups and do like three sets of all of that. And then we'll be ready to go. So, because he just keeps talking about, like, if you have, if he was like, those aren't exercises that's going to, like, he was saying those are things that you can do every day and not hurt yourself. Like, he was saying, like, don't do, like, I'm trying to give an example. Like, let's say we were doing, like, heavy goblet squats. You wouldn't want to do that again the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would take a day off from doing heavy goblet squats again. But he was saying, like, that's body weight stuff. So you doing push-ups every day or you working to pull-ups every day, that's not going to hurt you. Like, I always listen to your body. Like, if something doesn't feel right, that's one thing. Like, you know, chill out. But he was saying, like, if you really want to get push-ups, if you really want to get pull-ups, if you really want to get more flexible, like I've been doing the mobility training every day, which I've already noticed being able to bend my bad knee my left knee further than I could a week and a half ago just by doing the mobility stuff every day. So I know like in two months from now, I should be able to get a pretty deep squat, but that's because I'm doing it every day. So he was saying like, those are things that you should be doing every single day. And you will be surprised at how far along you get in two months or three months. Like you could be easy. You could easily be on floor pushups in a couple of months just by doing the bench push-ups like how I told you to do them by doing it like that every day you'll be there in no time and he was saying once I can knock out 20 bench push-ups without like stopping but you know slow decline and you know just really controlling the movement if I once I'm able to hit 20 then at that point we're moving down to the floor so I think I can do about five on a good day (laughs) no maybe not five maybe like four if I'm fresh, I don't know, because I haven't done them, like, fresh. I've done them, like, after we did a couple of other things. So, like I said, I'm going to start incorporating that and just make it, you know, 
a set, do like three sets of the floor lunges with the rotator cuff stuff and the hip stuff. Then I'll get on the bench and do the bench push-ups. Then I'll get to the Smith machine and do the pull-ups. And that'll be set one. And I'll do three sets of all of that. The mobility training, it takes me like 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. So by adding that stuff, it'll probably take like 15 minutes. And then we'll be ready to get into our workout. And even if the workout calls for that, it'll just be extra that day. You know what I'm saying? So, But that's how I'm going to approach it. But I'm glad that I have a trainer again because... He just put it into perspective and he just made me feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Like, don't get down on yourself. Like, <laughs> it was just funny when he was saying, I remember you couldn't do these, uh, jumping lunges. Like he was giving me a pep talk. Like, okay, so we do this, you know, cause all he, cause I, I don't think I was able to do them when I stopped training with him. So that's, but that's what he remembers. Cause that's the last thing he saw. So it was like funny listening to the pep talk. Like, okay, okay. Like I'm listening like, okay, okay. He's like, you know, just. Just we're gonna do as many as you can, <laughs> and then I was doing it. He was like, Jasmine, that's great. I remember you couldn't do one, <laughs> so that was cool. It was nice to know and be reassured that I'm doing better than I think I'm doing. I'm really hard on myself, and my counselor has been on me about that. I've gotten a lot better, but I told you guys, I used to be like a, my biggest bully, like, seriously, I really did. It's like a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because it's like it pushes you to go harder because you inside internally, you don't feel like you're doing enough. But then on the other side, it's like a fine line because it's like at what point will enough be enough, you know? And then it's like you, it's, you got to find a balance between being ambitious, but also being content. I don't, I don't ever really live in contentment. <laughs> like, I'm always trying to just do more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Like, I'm always trying to just improve, improve, improve. And my counselor, like, at some point, <laughs> you got to, like, you got to be cool with where you are. And I am cool. Like, I feel blessed. Like, I know I'm, you know, I know I'm doing good, but I'm like, oh, I can do better. You know what I'm saying? So... If you struggle with that, like, let me know down below in the comments, like, what has helped you? Do you have a fine line or are you just like, go, 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 go? Like, let me know. Because I don't, I don't interact with people, so I don't be knowing what's normal and what's not. But I'm glad I have a personal trainer again because, like I said, it just put things into perspective. And I looked at the workout he sent me for this week that I'm going to be doing on my own. We're going to be doing the, shit, I forgot what he called it. This is what is it? It's the belt squat, the belt squat machine. Before we ended the session, he showed me how to do it because they do have one here and they have one of the other goals, but I never knew how to use it. (laughs) Like I've seen people do it on social, but I never knew how to like set it up, get it going. So I just never did it. But he actually really likes the belt squat machine because it helps you get deeper into your squat. It gives you that support. And was there another? He doesn't really do too many machines, but he does like the belt squat so that was good. And then also having a personal trainer, like you guys, when we were doing the seated chest flies, y'all, that burn was crazy. Like I've never felt that burn doing the standing cable flies. I've never felt it like that. Like that shit was excruciating. Like I really felt my chest. And so that's why it's good to have someone that you're working with who is way more experienced than you. So in this case, a personal trainer for me, because it's like, I never did that. And see, the thing is, too, when he was training with me, we had limited equipment because he was coming to my gym at my apartment complex. So it was a nice gym, but it, didn't, it doesn't have all this stuff that, a you know, a gym gym has. Like, it had dumbbells. It had some leg stuff. It had, like, leg extensions. It had a cable machine. Um, it had a Smith machine. And then it had dumbbells and some benches so you you know you got to make do with what you got right but this gym has it's a gym gym so it has more stuff so he was explaining like the seated chest flies like what we were doing today it's so much better at isolating because you can't use momentum when you're doing that fly like if you're doing a standing cable fly you can kind of bend back and then bend forward so you're using more than just your chest to get that fly in but when you're sitting in the chair like that there's nowhere for you to swing you you solely have to rely on 
your chest to do the fly. So when we do chest fly, it's <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> we gonna be on that seated chest fly machine. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I preach the importance of getting around people with anything, not even just with weight loss and fitness. Like this is my goal. Even though 2025 hasn't hit, I'm already starting to think about it. like I got to get a mentor for my business. Like getting around people who know way more than you, even if you have to pay them, which I feel like you should because people it takes people years to get the knowledge that they have. Like to have the mindset that you shouldn't have to pay for their knowledge that took them years and years and years of trial and error to acquire, it's crazy. But there are really people. There are really people who feel like. They should just do stuff for free. Don't be like that. Don't do not do that. But getting around people who know way more than you and whatever it is you want to do, you could be trying to be a nurse, right? If you could just be around an RN or BSN who's like 20 years deep just to like see how they do stuff. Obviously, like if it's with regulations and stuff, I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they know more than you. They've been doing it longer than you. Experience is the best teacher ever. So, you know, just getting around people who are just better than you. Like, it's a whole different vibe. And that's what I'm saying. Like, this is only the third virtual session that we've had. And I feel like I've gotten so much knowledge. <laughs> like, in, in three hours. Like, is constant information being put into my head. Like, from the time I joined the Zoom room to the time I end, it's so much information. It's so much information that he's given me, like with the push-ups, with the pull-ups. And this is stuff that he has told me before, but this was like two years ago at this point. So I've forgotten a lot of stuff. And then a lot of stuff I couldn't do, so we didn't really touch on that stuff. You know, he was trying to get he was trying to lay the foundation to lifting, trying to get me to do stuff without hurting myself, because I started at 340 pounds. So now that I'm two years into my lifting journey, And I've gotten a lot stronger. I've gotten more in shape. I've gotten lighter. You know, now he's fine tuning and critiquing literally everything. (laughs) Literally everything that I'm doing, he's finding something wrong with it. And I'm glad. That's what I'm paying for. I want you to find something wrong with everything that I am doing so that I can fix it. (laughs) Literally everything he has, he has fine tuned the, the, um, cable rows with the one the single arm cable rows like I do those all the time but when we first did them not today but last week we first did them as soon as I saw it he was like wait 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 (laughs) like literally like dang Josh like we just got started no I'm just joking but seriously like he was like wait when you do that I need you to I need you to hold that there like that pull Hold that for a good two to three seconds and then slowly release. And he was like, keep your elbow into your side, which I feel, I think I was always doing that. And he was like, you don't want to overextend and twist. You want to stop, right? It was just so much. And we ain't even really start the workout yet. <laughs> we, I just got on the floor and you already starting. But that's the point. That's what's going to make you better. Like, that's the only way you're going to get better. That's the only way you're going to get better. So that's what I'm saying. Like, even if I only do it for a month, like, whatever. Like, I've gotten so much knowledge in three hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That I, that you are going to be the best investment you ever make. Whether it's acquiring skills, whether it's learning how to eat better. And that's the thing. Like, you think you know, but you don't know. You don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think you know, but you I, I promise you don't know. You really don't know. You can have a lot of experience, but there's always something to learn. Like, there's always something to learn. And in 2025, you know, as I continue to grow my platforms and, you know, get more money, I'm manifesting more money. Like, I don't even look at it as spending. I look at it as investing. I have got to get me a mentor. Like, I have got to get me a mentor. Like, the amount of information that I'm learning just through fitness right now in these three sessions that I've had like I know I need a mentor for my business side that's gonna teach me so much you know what I'm saying and I don't feel like you can really put obviously if you don't have it you don't have it like but then it's like you got to figure out a way to get it because I'm telling you it's just and the thing is I really want to do more with fitness like I 
it's not, it is about, like, it has changed my life. It has made me so much healthier, so much happier. But I also want to build a career around it. Like, you guys know that. That's why I continue to make content for you guys every single day. Like, I love this. I love weightlifting with a passion. So, it's like, and I've said to y'all, I don't want to give out information if it's not right. Like, I really don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to be telling y'all shit that's not right. <laughs> like, I really don't. And I'm never going to wear the expert hat. But what I can do is tell you guys what I've been doing that has helped me lose weight, right? And by being able to share it with you guys and share it accurately, that's most important. Even, like, I was eating bagels and he was telling me, even though, it's, you know, it's good, you know, you're in your calories, like, it's just not the best use of 300 calories, you know? So just critiquing everything. And that's that's the point. That's the point. That's the point. So... You know, I'm so glad that I decided to invest in a personal trainer again. And I've gotten so much knowledge in a short period of time. And I just want to keep going. Like, I want to reach my full potential on my fitness journey. And, you know, I think I've seen a couple of influencers who are also coaches who have a coach. So, you know, it makes sense. Like, LeBron James has a has a coach and he's fucking LeBron James you know what I'm saying that's my point like there's there's always something to learn so if you're someone who's very prideful very egotistical chill out like stop 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 I'm telling you right now you don't know you don't know you don't know everything and it's okay to not know everything and you shouldn't want to know everything because if you know everything then how can you improve because you think you know everything you know what I'm saying so I know like bodybuilders they hire coaches to teach them and it'd be people who are like 20 years deep into bodybuilding and they still have a coach because there's always things to tweak there's always something to fix there's always something to improve on so and you can't see what you don't know you get what I'm saying so you know I'm excited I'm so excited about this journey but anyways y'all the weather look at it's like raining outside this is how you become disciplined by going to the gym (laughs) Even when it's not weather friendly, like what? These are the type of days where you just want to cuddle in bed and just watch Netflix and chill and eat takeout all day. Not me. (laughs) I still got to the gym. No excuses. No days off, right? (laughs) All right, y'all. I'm I'm ready to go home. Uh, If you guys want to see what we did yesterday, make sure y'all click right here. And I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early for another full body. Bye.